Hello and welcome to Vidre Ambrad channel and also welcome you to the series of video tutorials on MSP432 Launchpad tutorials using Simplink SDK and Core Composer Studio. So let's get started. So in this tutorial we are going to see MSP432 P401 Launchpad features. So this is the Launchpad and this Launchpad will be available in two colors. Uh, the older version will have a black color and the newer version will have a, uh, a red color. Uh, so if you look at the features of MSP432 P401R so it is based on a ARM Cortex M4 uh, with the floating point unit and it is also based on 32-bit microcontroller with MPU production that is memory production unit and uh, we can have a clock frequency up to uh, maximum of 48 MHz it has uh, 256 kilobytes of uh, flash memory uh, that is the main memory and then it has a 64 kilobytes of SRAM so this is basically the RAM memory and it also has a dedicated 32 kilobytes of uh, ROM memory uh, so for the MSP432 peripheral driver libraries and then it supports the ultra low power operating modes and uh, one more thing is it has a 16-bit uh, precision ADC and up to uh, 1 Mbps uh, and it also supports the channel DMA and it has a inbuilt RTC with the calendar and alarm functions and it has a 4 uh, 16-bit and uh, two 32-bit timers for PWM generation as well as the internal timers for the delays and it also supports uh, enhanced universal synchronous communication interface and it, it has a URT that is universal synchronous receive and transmit with automatic baud rate detection and uh, also it has a IDRA that means infrared data acquisition uh, which will be used for encode and decode the um, infrared signals and it also supports this spy and uh, the speed is up to 16 mbps and it has a i2c uh, which will be used for the multi-slave addressing and it has a, a flexible ivo features if you look at this all the uh, pin nodes of the msp 432 p401r are routed through the launchpad board outside so you can see all the pin nodes here you can also use this uh, for the booster fax from the ti apart from this they have also routed the all the pins of the msp 432 so here is so you can use the digital IO pins here and it has a 4 pin JTAG and a 2 pin uh, SWD lock that means serial wire debug so he, this is the debugger and uh, so we, through which we can able to program as well as we can also use the debugging purposes and if you look at the uh, MSP 432P 401R uh, launchpad so it has a onboard uh, emulator or debugger uh, which will be used for the energy trace and then it has a, a reset switch here and we have a 40 pin booster fax connector so that we can use the booster fax available from the ti and then uh, we have a two user switches they are located here and then we have a, a red led and a dedicated uh, rgb led so that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please subscribe to my channel